Get ready with me to eradicate any shred of my great apeness for a first date with a man who may or may not murder me. First of all, your whole body is wrong, so spend 50% of your paycheck, that is already 25% less than you know who's, on a thick cream and micro knives to apply tiny torturous tears to your epidermis. Lather up your largest organ with this inedible, delicious looking whip. Then scrape away your only defense against the 45 degree air conditioned office building you work in. Go section by section. With each crate, make sure to say something mean to yourself about the natural occurrence of fur on your primate body. Try phrases like, you're disgusting, ew, gross, and you bring shame upon your ancestors. Once that's done, raise your arms high into the sky so you can attack the underarm bush that haunts Republicans. Now, with an imperialist spirit, smother your upper lip with a hot sticky wax to violently rip those pesky little hairs from their sockets. They never should have been there in the first place. Let's be honest, they were asking for it. Now let's police the place babies come out of. Because the government isn't doing that enough. And birth isn't that painful, and you're just being dramatic. And the curtains need to match the drapes because women are houses for men's anger. Drag razor blades across the most sensitive skin on your body so the side of your mons pubis doesn't gross out the people who regularly don't wash their hands. It doesn't even hurt. Stop being so emotional. Would you rather wax? That's what I thought. The more time you spend obsessing over your pubic hair, the more opportunity they have to take away your rights. Now let's move on to your butthole, the place where literal shit comes out of your body. It needs to be pretty, because we can't even expel waste without it being sexualized. This is called bleach. It's a carcinogen. Slather this onto your... Do you want to split this? 